Hello, this is another video tutorial showing you one of Spotware's um, indicator that they just published. It's a chart pattern drawing tool. So it allows you to draw harmonic patterns, Fibonacci tools, um, impul Elliott impulse waves. So this tool here, if you scroll down and you have a look at all the different options, um, it's actually a hand drawing tool that you can use. So it's this one thing that was missing off of C Trader, um, but they've now allowed you to do it. Sorry, download it as an indicator. Now this indicator comes complete also with source code. So if you want to go in there and modify it or change it or even adapt it in any way, you can. Um, you can download it from our website at clickagro.com. You can also go to Spotware's official website and download it from there off their indicator list. <clears throat> so um, we're actually providing it on here to give you a little bit more information of how to use the tool. So this video hopefully will give you um, some idea how to get started. We don't know all the settings, but I try and help you as much as possible. In here as well, it will tell you how to install and open the indicator. This link here will tell you how to download um, the complete Visual Studio solution from GitHub. Also, when you download the indicator, it will have the source code for you to use. So I'll now go into C Trader and just give you the quick demo from there. Okay, so this is C Trader. So um, there's a couple of ways of loading the indicator. One is to tap the keyboard, it's probably the easiest way. And if you'd start typing the name of the CBOT file that you've just downloaded, um, if you're not familiar with C Trader, when you download the file, um, if it's zipped, you just need to unzip it and then double click on the file to install. If it's not zipped, you just double click and it should automatically install into C Trader. And then you just type in here, draw. So it's called pattern drawing. So it's quite a big um, file, so it's just gonna load now. Now, when you look into this, these are the settings for the indicator, but there are a lot of settings. I'm gonna show you the settings um, on the automate window where I can show you the um, source code. So this is for manual trading, this window here. There's also um, down here, it says automate, bottom left. Now that here is actually where you do your automated trading, but you can also attach indicators. And also here, um, it actually shows the, the settings a little bit clearer for me to explain to you when you go into it. But you can change the settings from here to get started. I'm just gonna click okay. Now, once it starts, you might not notice, it takes a few seconds to actually load. Um, and you might not notice um, a little top left icon that's going to appear in a second. It should load it. Yeah, there it goes. So yeah, it does take a bit of time to load. I'm not sure why. So it's loaded now and you've got a little icon on the top left saying expand patterns. If I click on it, you've got all the patterns there. Now, the reason it's formatted like this is because I've actually changed the uh, formatting of the background. So if you want this list to look any different, then I'll quickly show you how to do that now before I get started. I'm going to right click on the chart and I'm going to choose viewing options. Oh, no, I don't. I'm going to choose object manager, indicators. Click on this little settings icon. And it's going to load in the actual settings. Now, what I'm going to change is the um, container. Well, there it is, the buttons. So on the buttons, you can choose any color you want. So I can have that as green. So you can choose any color that suits you. And the text color is white. So click OK, close this. There will be a delay when you actually make any modifications. It's quite a big indicator. So what will happen now is when this closes, um, this will now allow you to actually expand the patterns and you can see the actual background color easier. So depending on what kind of template you're using and what kind of um, background chart, <laughs> you can actually choose how you want this panel to look. So as long as it's visible and it's clear on the screen, that's great. So the kind of patterns you can choose are triangles, cycles, head and shoulders, cipher, A, B, C, D, three drives, GAN, Fibonacci, and so forth. There's many different patterns. You can also collapse this whole list or expand the patterns. You could save all the patterns that you've got on the chart and you can load them back in. So that's very useful. So if you're actually drawing many patterns on the chart, you can actually save them onto your PC. And then when you load the, um, a chart up again, you click load and you can load them all back on. So if you have particular drawings um, you don't want to lose when you close CTrader, you can do that. So if I choose the ABC, what you can do from here is um, you can actually pick up an ABC pattern. So I go from there to there to there and down to there. So you can actually pick up the pattern you want. Now it doesn't look great in the colors it's got there. Um, you've got a few options. You can go back into the settings and change the default um, colors for the text and the, the lines. So that's possible. Or you can just right click on here and change any color you want on there. So I'm going to choose um, just white and then for the text I'm going to choose white as well okay so you can choose anything you want I'd have to do it down here as well so I choose white there but once it's on the chart you can actually change it and you can see here there's an a b c d pattern that's been formed there 
So if I was to now click on the uh, save, it's actually uh, opened the window over here, but here you can see it opens up your downloads. You can then just go into your downloads and you can save the file. And uh, if you have many patterns drawn on the chart, you can actually load them in at another time. Now on here as well, if I just go through, you've got your head and shoulders, so you can draw multiple patterns, cipher. I've done that one, three drives. Now on some of these, you've got GAN, you've got additional options. You've got a GAN box, GAN square or, or GAN fan. So if I go to Fibonacci, you've got multiple options you can choose now, the retracement, the expansion, the resistance fan, the time zone. So what they've done is they've actually put many, many kind of chart patterns that you would ever want to draw on the chart in this indicator. So it's a very powerful indicator um, to actually use. And if you look on here, you've got the EWABC and you've got all the options down there for you to draw. Now, again, if you're unfamiliar with any of these um, patterns, it's easy. You just go onto Google and you type in anything here. So if you go onto Google and you type in Fibonacci channel, I'm sure it will come up with exactly how to draw a Fibonacci channel pattern. Again, if you go to um, Cypher, it will actually tell you how to draw a Cypher pattern. Once you know how to draw these patterns and how to identify them on the chart, you can then draw, hand draw the patterns on there and you can load or save. And it will actually allow you to analyze your other chart <clears throat> your strategy and your other chart kind of objects to help you make um, a decision on a, on a sale. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Ctrader Automate. Again, if you've got a white background, then you can also change the background color. So here you can see it's got a white background and I've selected to have the color to be 43, 43, 43 because it looks nicer on a background. You can also change the um, transparency. So if I did that at 0 0.5, you can see that it actually um, you can still see the candles in the background. It makes it a little bit transparent. So you might want to do that. It gives you the option. Um, and you've got a lot of settings in here. Now, the problem is I'm not going to be able to explain all the settings because there, there are a huge amount of settings. So I'll just give you a few. The, the actual control container, you can decide where you want it to go. So you can choose left or right. So you can actually put it anywhere on the chart. Okay, so wherever you're trading and wherever you want to access the drawing tools, um, you can do this. Um, the buttons that I showed you previously, you've got the actual buttons that you need to use. Um, also, you can actually choose um, the different types of colors that are default when you draw the objects. So you can have different colors that you can choose. Um, if I scroll down here, they've, now they've got the um, GAN box. So you can actually choose the colors that you're going to use for a GAN box, the default colors. So as I showed you previously, you can actually edit the drawing objects when they're on the chart to change the color. But if you've got a particular um, template or a color or background or theme, you can actually go into each one of these, change the default settings so that when you draw the object onto the chart, it actually defaults to that. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see there's a huge amount of settings, like huge. So somebody that's familiar with these patterns, like a Fibonacci expansion, they will know about the different types of levels. So again, if you're not familiar with these drawing tool objects, you need really to do some educational um, learning and find out exactly how to do this. If you've got any questions about um, this drawing tool, I would probably contact Spotware Direct because they created this um, tool and they can explain the settings for you. They're, it doesn't really come um, with a comprehensive user guide, so hopefully um, with the questions and answers, you know, it should help people. So if I scroll down here, you can see it's got like a massive amount of um, settings that you can use. So that's the tool. That's another drawing tool from C Trader. Now again, you've got the complete source code. So if I click on the pattern drawing, this is a huge file. So if I scroll down, it is massive. So again, if you're not familiar with programming and you need this enhanced in any way, you can contact us at clickagro.com. We actually do development work as well. Um, or you can contact Spotware and have a chat with them. So again, you can download this with the full source code and you can do anything you want on it. Um, you can download it from our website here. Like I said, you just click on the buy now, go through the uh, checkout process. If you want to see more of Spotware tools, just click on the vendor account. So far, we've just published uh, these ones of Spotware. So hopefully when they do some really good uh, tools, we're only going to actually put on our website some of Spotware's best sort of tools that they've published recently. And uh, you can access them, from, access them from here. So that's it. That's the video. Um, I might just scroll down to the bottom, see if there's anything here. Again, yeah, if you want the source code, just click on that. Okay, that's it. So thank you very much. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.